Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is Weekly Contest 189 uh, on Nico. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, let me know how you did. What problems did you have problems with? What problems were fun for you? Let me know. Uh, and let's get started. Whew, I'm going to calm down for like five seconds and then let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Uh, Q1, number of students doing homework at a given time. Uh, yeah, so this one immediately when I read it, I, um, yeah, I was like, what's N? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter what N is, to be honest, because I was like, well, you cannot do better than O of N because you have to read everything once. And I just kind of double check, double reading it just to make sure that this was as easy as I thought it was. But it pretty much was, which is that um, given a query time, we just check to see if that query time is between uh, the start time and end time inclusive. And you just could do that with a linear scan um, by checking every segment once. Uh, and that's what I do here. Uh, in, in the contest, I solved this in 59 seconds, including reading and, and loading. So, uh, so this was a pretty straightforward problem for me. Um, and I was confident that I, as soon as I checked the example and answers, and as soon as I was confident, here you go, under a minute. Q2, rearrange words in a sentence. Uh, so this one I also knew how to do immediately. Um, there's some like trickiness around like making sure you capitalize the first word and lowercase it and stuff like this. But, uh, but in general, I was just like, okay, so it's a sorting problem. Um, sort by the length and then sort by the index that it appears on. Um, so that's pretty much it, uh, minus the little uh, fanciness around capitalizing the right word. Um, yeah. That's pretty much what I do here. I keep track of the index as well by using enumerate. Uh, and then as the sorting key, I... Yeah, well, that's kind of wrong, but I fix it, don't worry. I use index and then the length of the string. I was like, yeah, okay. I was going to use something like sort by a, a lambda function, but I was like, okay. I don't want to spend time thinking about it. So let's do that. And then I um, spend a little bit more time than I would like looking back on this part. But because I think I needed to... All I needed was uh, converted to a list. I knew this was wrong per se, but I just wanted to see that it was returning the same thing. But I, but then I actually made an even sillier mistake on the syntax. Um, I yeah, that that's what happens when you don't get enough sleep. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. But I still did this problem in under three minutes. So um, <coughs> and I was like, wait, maybe I have to convert this to a list. Maybe that's why. Uh, okay, now I was like, okay, that's good, uh, but it's not the answer um, because, well, we want it back to word. And then now I was like, okay, I have to convert the first uh, word back, um, capitalize the first letter of the first word. So that's what I do here. There may be easier ways to do it, but that's how I did it, obviously, because that's why you're watching it. And then now I just join it by... Uh, by that amount. And that's pretty much it for Q2, I believe. <laughs> Q3, people whose list of favorite companies is not a subset of another list. Yeah, so this one, I think I just was trying to, uh, well, one was I just want to make sure what they meant by subset. Uh, I mean, I know that some set has a definitive meaning, but I feel like in, in recent days, uh, lead code, um, lead code's definitions weren't exact. So, um, so I just want to make sure, and it's not even just lead code. Sometimes different problem setters will have different uh, definitions, and um, and by that, um, and because subset for a list means something else, um, and here it turns out that it means uh, 
the proper subset, I believe, uh, where every item is inside another item. Uh, or another word, uh, maybe even dominated, is, is a word that you can use, maybe. Mm. But in either case, um, I looked at N, N is equal to 100. Um, the 500 companies, I was like, eh, I'm the lowest. So right now I'm gonna start implementing the brute force, but which is N squared times um, the number of companies L, so N squared times L plus L is equal to the, uh, the biggest list of companies or something like that. Um, and that's pretty much what I do. Uh, I did have a little bit um, worry uh, with respect to the running time, but uh, but yeah. Uh, and I oh I also converted. Here I was like just double checking some stuff. I was like oh yeah, uh, I think at some point pretty soon I converted it from a list. I was going to use sorting and then binary search or something like that. But I was like okay actually just just convert it to a set. It's fine. Um, yeah, so I converted to a set which allows me to do quicker lookups. Uh, and then after that, I just do a proof force. I just wanted to make sure that this works, that I can create a set that way um, while I continue to type so that I can look at it later. So I think there was a compile. It just tells me there's a compiler error, I think, because uh, I have a type one companies, because uh, I do look at it later. I'm like, oh, yeah, um, that's fine. And then now we're like, okay, if i is not equal to j, then we, we want to check whether uh, uh, the person i is strictly person i's list of companies is strictly inside person j's company. And I was like, okay, uh, I spent I end up spending about five minutes on this problem. I probably could have should have done it faster, but uh, but yeah. That's pretty much what I'm implementing. Even though I, now that looking back, it seems like I'm really slow, but uh, for some reason, because I think I was still very, uh, so during this time, I didn't know if I, I was thinking like, eh, do I need an optimization? And I think near this time, I was like, okay, if I need an optimization, I'll just do it later. Um, like I'll, I'll take a risk on a five minute penalty because sometimes it is what it is if, uh, if it doesn't. Um, So if it's not found, so uh, if every item is found, then we want to set found as equal to true. Uh, and also I did a little bit of a micro optimization. Um, so I, I, I don't know why I wrote it this way. I think I was just rushing a little bit mentally instead of just writing brick, because that's essentially what it does. But yeah, but now it's a, now if, um, if we don't find a case where someone totally likes all your companies and more, uh, we add it to an array. Uh, that is the result, and we just quickly return to I. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I ran, I YOLO submit, even though I probably could have tested the stress tested a little bit more, uh, but that's what I have for this one. Uh, Q4, maximum number of dots inside a circular dartboard. So this one, it's kind of sad because um, I've solved this problem before, so when I when I saw this problem, um, I knew how to do it immediately. I was like, okay, it's n cube. Um, well, n cube times n, so it's n to the four for me. Um, yeah, and that's basically is brute force. Um, so you're gonna. Um, so a lot of times you uh, uh, you're not gonna see it on screen, but what I was googling, uh, what I was doing was Googling the entire time about the formula. Um, and what formula, you may ask? Well, for this one, I knew that um, there are only three places the center point can be, or I could, I'm gonna call them candidates. Uh, there are only three type of candidate points. One is, well, each of the input points themselves. Two is given two points, you use the midpoint and then draw a circle radius R and then see if they're in, inside. Uh, 
all of them are inside. And then the third way is um, given uh, three points. Uh, given three points, you can uniquely determine a circle. And for that circle, um, uh, check the center point, and then check whether that, and then use that center point as a center point to count all the ends. Uh, there's some optimizations you could have done, or I could have done, uh, but uh, but I didn't do it here. And I think I spent a lot of time um, go just Googling the formula for the last part because I, <laughs> uh, as much as I have been doing competitive programming, uh, I don't, I, well, one is geometry is hard <laughs> for me. Uh, I haven't done it in 20 years. Th these are excuses, but my point is still that, um, excuse me, my point is that I'm rusty and I was not ready to solve this problem. Uh, so I, but I also knew that there was a f formula that you can Google though, or well, that's what I thought at the time when I was thinking about this, but I did run into a lot of, uh, I don't know, it was harder than I thought to Google, like a, not how to solve it, but a way to implement it in a clean way or able to implement it in a clean way. Uh, and that's what I struggle with. Uh, but yeah, but now we're just doing the, the case where you have given two points, use the um, midpoint of those two points uh, and draw a circle from that. Uh, I think I could have done um, some optimization here, but uh, but I didn't. So that was a little, um, now that I think about it, I could have, but that's okay. But yeah, now I'm just using the midpoint formula for Q for for two points, uh, and also note that uh, I intentionally. I don't know why uh, now. Um, I I do use unnecessary number of loops in the sense that. In the sense that uh, yeah, now I'm looking like just to make sure that like. Maybe I could use that constraint to figure out a way to um, to like like can I do something on on the latches or something like that? Uh, but uh, but I was like now just do it for you know I, I was like telling myself this Larry, you know how to do it. Stop. Look, I mean maybe there's an easy way out, but you're not going to be confident about it anyway, and then you're going to be annoyed. Just do it the right way. That's basically what I was telling myself. Uh, roughly at this point. Uh, here I'm just setting up the best uh, thing. Uh, and right now uh, we're about three and a half minutes in or so, give or take. Um, so kind of slow even on this part, but I, I mean, I didn't spend the entire time doing this part. I was just, uh, I, I think I did some Googling and I think I just, I had um, I had a for formula ready. I don't know if I was ready to implement it, but I had a formula ready and and uh, we actually just did it with determinants, something, but. Yeah, and this is pretty straightforward. I don't know why I did it, and like I didn't, I sh should count from J from I to K. Oh, sorry, from I to J. But, sorry, J from I to N, but uh, but I didn't, so it was kind of sad. Uh, and also I wasted some time here because I did range of points instead of length of points on the top. Uh, but but that's okay. So now uh, I knew that this wasn't correct um, because I didn't do the other part. So now I'm like, okay, it's googling time. Um, but yeah, but. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit, so feel free to, um, well, I mean, not fast forward, but I'm gonna skip ahead. Feel free to watch this on 2X or something like that and then kind of see my logic. But a lot of this is just me Googling. So uh, so yeah, I will join you back later. Remember to use the links below to kind of move along. But see you in a sec.
Wow. Well, uh, welcome back, or um, welcome me back. Thank you for welcoming me back. Uh, no, but uh, but yeah, I did the form. As you can see, I've been debugging. Uh, unfortunately, I had a typo on the formula, uh -huh. uh, and you kind of see me here. Uh, this is at the end of all the debugging, but I just flipped one sign, and that one sign was enough for me to get it wrong. Uh, for 10 minutes, I was debugging for 10 whole minutes, trying to figure out what's wrong. Um, and I still finished in the top 100, I think. Mm, okay. uh, that 10 minutes uh, would have been really helpful. Almost I would have been 10, definitely like no, top 50. Or, and if I didn't even have the five minute, uh, like mm -hmm. if I had submitted now, but uh, this is 31 uh, minutes yeah. in. So even if I had gotten this right now, uh, I would have been top 25, even with the 10 minutes penalty uh, or, or 10 minutes debugging. So that was kind of silly. Uh, but as you can see, I have time limit exceeded and I, just don't know how. Uh, I was like, what? No, how do I do this? Like, maybe I could cache this. Maybe I like, I was being a little bit lazy on the, uh, on, on the, on, on the commentation. Like, I was like, oh, maybe I could just be a little bit better around the commentation. Um, but yeah, but that 10 minutes was a little bit sad. That five extra minutes was even more sad. Uh, just because I had one sign flipped. Uh, and it took me a while because, and some of that is that uh, debugging really depends on your confidence. Uh, and if you're really confident on your formula, then you know that you implemented the formula well. Versus me, I was not confident about my formula. Uh, so, and what I mean by that is that because I was not confident in my formula, I was I spent a lot of time during that 10 minutes just Googling alternative uh, formulas just to kind of double check. Um, but it turns out that I just had a typo flipping one, uh, I mean, uh, you know, like this BAC thing, uh, it's really long and it's very really easy to make a mistake clearly. Um, and I did make a mistake, but because I, um, because I uh, wasn't confident in my, in general, uh, it took me a long time to catch that one. Um, so definitely an opportunity lost here. I probably could have done it in much less time. Uh, but here I was like, okay, I'm still running into uh, time limit exceeded. I don't think I could do any better uh, we'll see later whether there's a faster algorithm. I don't know of a faster algorithm. Um, so like if this didn't work, I didn't have any other way. So you see me kind of struggling for two, mi two three minutes, just trying to figure out what to do. Uh, I end up spending eight minutes here, but what I end up doing was I was like, okay, I did the math again. It's going to take about, the worst case is it's going to take about 16 million operations or so, 17 million, something like that. So like, okay, it's C plus plus time. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I I literally re-implement everything in C++. There's a typo that didn't matter, it turned out. But uh, but, but yeah, uh, after I implemented in C++, it seems like I did, I spent about five minutes re before submitting um, and just double checking that uh, I guess everything was right and doing minor optimization. So, so um, uh, and also I don't have a great keyboard, so I was just not typing as fast as I feel like I could have. But yeah, but that's all I have for this problem. Uh, let me know what you think. Hang out with Larry up there. Um, you know, if there's a little bit boring for you, you know, skip ahead a little bit, 10 seconds at a time. Uh, there's, there'll be link below to, the, to kind of for you to jump right to the uh, explanation portion and stuff like that. Anyway, I will see you later. Bye-bye. Uh, well, hang out with other Larry. See you.
That's a terrible way to finish. Probably should have gone that way faster. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I because uh, I knew how, what to do ex uh, immediately, but I just didn't have to call win for it. And obviously, you saw that I had to convert from Python to C plus plus, which is kind of crappy. Um, but. Uh, so I can't get uh, I thought Q4 would be fast enough in Python, but I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. Maybe I, I don't think I finish in top 100, right? Because I think the Chinese server will get to merge in. Um, yeah, I, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how this is sorted right now, or what the number is right now. But um, I definitely should have gotten it faster. I definitely don't deserve the five minutes, to be honest. Um, just because I had to rewrite it in two languages. I also, well... I think some of that was that I didn't believe in myself. Uh, you, you saw it in the contest. Um, so I had the formula, I had to Google it to be frank. Um, like I knew how to do it. I just didn't remember, the, well, I, I, well, one, I didn't know the formula and I, I had a typo in the writing that cost me a lot of time. Um, Cause I just wasn't confident that it would run. Uh, I had to print it out and that cost a couple of minutes. At the end of the day, that was just a silly problem because I don't know. I don't know. If, no, on an interview, no one should be expected to remember that one, and it was just brute force otherwise, kind of. But um, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that was like I did it so fast. I. I don't know what my rank was after three problems, but but like you know, look at all the top scores. I finished three problems before a lot of people did, uh, so that was kind of a race that um, you know, plus the five minute penalty. But because I knew how to do it immediately too, like I probably if I knew the formula and I was good at math, I probably could have done it in five minutes. Um, even 10 minutes, I probably should have done it. And if I'd done it in 10 minutes, I would have also finished in second place or something, right? So, um, or like top 10, say. Like I probably could have finished top 10. That was very really top 10 uh, So I think now, I don't know. D d I don't know the server ranks and how it's all fitting in. But we had a typo and I had to Google it. And I had trouble Googling it because I found like so many formulas, but then. I, I, I wanted one that was easy to implement. Um, and then I had to rewrite it from Python to C++. So that's kind of the time. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go over the problems. Uh, if I finish top 100, if not, that's fine. Maybe top 200. But eh, it's a little bit of a waste because I probably should have did Q3 way easily. I mean, like I did Q3 way quickly. But, um, so it's kind of a, wow, three minutes. That's pretty quick, actually, wow. I mean, I did it quickly, but I, oh yeah, I just, okay, let's just go over it then. 
Uh, Q1, numbers of students doing homework at a given time. Yeah, because this is, because n is only um, 100. Um, the, oh, yeah. Because n is only 100, you can just go for it manually and then count for everyone. Um, just making sure that the query time is between the start time and end time for a given index i. And that's pretty much it for Q1. Um, yeah. Q2, rearrange words in a sentence. Um, yeah, for this one, it's just sorting. It's sorting by um, by the, the length of the string. And then if there's a type worker, you sort it by who, who uh, which word uh, appears earlier. So that's what I did. I sort by, uh, by, by the length and then the index of the word. Um, and then I just did some math to, or magic to make sure that the first character is uh, capitalized and also lowering the word, incoming word. Um, but overall, pretty straightforward once you get that sorting done. I mean, it tells you how to rearrange them. So it should be straightforward in terms of understanding. And this, my code is pretty straightforward as a result. Um, cool, that's Q2. Q3. People whose list of favorite companies is not a subset of another list. So I probably could have done this one faster. Um, but I think I just wasn't sure if they meant like proper subset. And I also wasn't, I don't, um, I was a little bit skeptical about this one in terms of running time. So basically what I did was brute force. Uh, it's n square. Uh, and then for i is not, yeah, yeah. So for n square, you, for every i, you compare it to a j. Um, and then see if everything in I is in J or not in J. Well, if w there's a one case where, um, yeah, if I if all of I is in all of J, then um, then that means that I gets dominated. If um, otherwise, if you cannot find an instance as the case, then we add the index. Uh, I was I actually had a little bit. Um, I was a little bit scared about the running time, um, but I think I misread the constraints now that, no, there are 500 companies, right? Um, yeah, so um, I use set to make the lookups easier. Um, but, but yeah, overall I did brute force uh, n cube or n squared times L for L is the number of companies. So, uh, so I definitely wasn't confident about this one in terms of running time. Um, I was thinking about maybe I have to, at, at the very least, con uh, convert from string to like an int or something like that. But it worked okay, so uh, maybe the test case uh, weak, um, but I'm not sure. Because I, I do have some early termination, but it's still not... Um... Yeah, actually, I should break on here. I don't know why I didn't break on here either. But, um... but yeah. Overall, I mean, this is just brute force. Uh, Q3, oh, sorry, uh, Q4, maximum number of darts inside a circle dartboard. So I knew how to do this immediately. I've done this before, um, which makes it a little bit sad that I took so long. Uh, the short story is um, for n, so your midpoint will either be on one of the points, uh, one of the n points, or uh, one of the points between two points, um, or which is the midpoint between two points, or uh, the s center of three points that forms a circle. Um, so you could you could do some math to prove that three points uh, uniquely determine a circle, uh, and from that you just brute force. Um, given that n is equal to a hundred, uh, this is n square, which is okay, obviously. Well, this is n square times the cost, the n, so the, for the three cases, uh, for one point being the center point, there's all of n cases of them, and it takes all of n times to count. Uh, so that's n square. For the midpoint between two points, there's n square of them, and it takes all of n to count, so it's n cubed, that's what I have here. Um, and then for every three points forming a circle, there are obviously n cube of them, and then each of them costs n times, so it's n to the fourth. Um, th this is where the constant matter, because you could choose n, choose 
three, which for a hundred and choose three is um, a lot less. It's like a hundred million over six instead. So, uh, um, wait, is that right? Yeah, uh, a hundred choose three is only one hundred sixty-one thousand, where a hundred cube is much bigger. It's about a million. Uh, so one hundred sixty-seven thousand times a hundred is only sixteen million. Um, but in Python, it's still too slow. So, uh, so I got a timeout for that, and, and you saw me re rewrite it in C plus plus just to get it inside the time. Uh, is there a more smarter way? I'm not sure, but um, well, I mean, you could do some pruning probably, but but in a general sense, in theory, uh, you cannot do it in a better time because you're given R. Um, yeah, and you just have to check for each point. So given a candidate, uh, we have to check that each point is closer than R from it. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this problem. It's brute force. That's why it's a little crappy because I knew how to solve it. I knew it was brute force. I've solved this problem before. Um, but one is that in Python got timed out. That's sad. Two is it took me way too long because I wasn't super confident about this formula and I had typo if you saw uh, for a long time. And I wasn't I, and I, because I had to Google the formula, I didn't really understand the um, I didn't understand the constraints. So like for this case, I didn't know what what, what does it mean when a is equal to zero. Um, that means the determinant is equal to zero, but I'm not sure. I, did, I didn't know what that means or like geoma geometrically. Uh, and that's where practice and stuff like this gets you. Thing. I think it's probably just that uh, two points are collinear or something like that. Or, But I'm not quite sure. So, or not collinear, but co-circular. No, that, I don't know. But so, some weird uh, things like that. So I had to uh, can't, um, get rid of it or it gave me a divide by zero error uh, for... Oh, actually, I think I messed up. <laughs> Somehow it got to accept it. I think when I was writing my Python code, um, I had this before this. Um, so otherwise, because this, if this is zero, then it would give me um, uh, a divided by zero error. But maybe there's some weird thing where this just gives me not a number or something. And that's what... Uh, but so it seems like I made a bug and it almost cost me five minutes again, but I did it correctly in Python, I believe. It's just that I didn't run in time. Uh, but yeah, the I took way too long because I had a, I reverted one of the signs, and then as soon as I changed it back, I was okay. But I was still not confident. I probably should have tested the uh, N is equal to 100 case in Python uh, before submitting, but, um, but I didn't know of a faster way, so... Maybe there is a faster way. We'll kind of see the solutions later. But for me, I didn't. I, I feel like I remember solving this problem, and I didn't remember a faster way. Um, all right. Uh, it's it's not something that I do often, but uh, this is the code review portion of the uh, video. Um, yeah. Uh, even though I did pretty okay, eighty third. It seems like let me refresh real quick. Uh, I'm going. Okay. I think it's still eighty third. It's just that. Service always a little bit weird, but um, yeah, I'm gonna look at some solution and see how I can learn. Uh, just because I, at the end of the day, I didn't, I did okay, but not that poorly, uh, but not you know. Okay, Q1. Why is there? This is Q1. Did I click on Q1. Why is Q1 have circle stuff? Maybe some template stuff that you copied over. Uh, wow, this is a lot of okay. I mean, this is just like a full loop, so I think that's okay. Um, we don't have to. Code review that much. Um, Q2, what did I do? Oh, it, I just did this with sorting. Um, and yeah, okay, just sorting. Same thing uh, with the anonymous function. Uh, yeah, same thing, just sorting, making pairs. Yeah, pretty much the same way that uh, I did. Uh, though I didn't rely on the fact that it was stable sort, but uh, because I wasn't, oh no, uh, oh, it's so, hmm. oh, I see, 
because it uses the index to get back. Okay, that's an interesting way of doing it. Uh, okay. Yeah, but overall, Q2 seems pretty straightforward in terms of code review. Uh, Q3, uh, yeah, I did a brute force, so I imagine most people probably did it that way, give or take. Um, yeah, there's just for loops and while loops. Uh, checking, is this fast enough? Wow. So basically, what this does is that it's just sort um it goes through the list like two pointers one by one. I guess it's fast enough. Uh, good for them. Uh, oh, the union. I was thinking about doing something like this, but I wasn't sure the syntax. Um, but yeah, not bad. I mean, I did it pretty quickly. This, this was even faster. But, um, but yeah, it's super liminal using Python now. Did he, I thought they used C++, but I could be wrong. I mean, clearly. Um, Okay, Q4 is the most interesting part. Um, let's review Q4. Uh, I mean, he's really good, and he did it in 32 minutes, so I don't feel that bad about it. Uh, yeah, so it turns out, I mean, you might have watched the earlier part of the video, and I said, like, there's no easy, I don't think there's an easy way to do it better than n cube. Uh, so it turns out I was wrong. Um, because the the thing the tricky thing to note is that you're given R, uh, and the R allows you to instead of building a circle from three points, you could use R to find the third point, and then there are two two points, uh, so given two two points, so you still put first the two points, so it's n square number of point candidates. Uh, given those two points, there's only two other points that. Uh, form a circle all units away. So there's one on top and one on bottom if you want to put it that way. Uh, and then from those, for each of those three circles, you just try to brute force it uh, to calculate for all of n. Uh, and that's all of, um, yeah, so that's n cube. So you can't do an n cube. So if you're doing Python, then it is, it should have been way more than enough. I did it in Python with n to the fourth, and instead I did it with n cube, and that seems to be okay. Um, or n to the fourth, I did it in C++ and it made it okay, but I probably actually don't deserve this to be honest because uh, I did not think about the solution during the contest as well. Uh, that one, also same thing here. Um, yeah, also same thing, getting the centers uh, and yeah, getting the centers of the circles and yeah, doing it that way. That's pretty cool. Uh, and you could probably have, uh, you know, Maybe I needed to break out my notepad uh, for this one, uh, but yeah. Uh, well, that's pretty, 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 pretty much what I had. Um, cool. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just needed to do more math. What a tricky part. Uh, cool. All right. Bye bye. And and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see what my rank is. Uh, this was very top tenable just because I knew the answer. But maybe you could say that for everyone else because a lot of people also took like a reasonable amount of time. So, well, okay. But um, I feel like I did it fast enough that I should have gotten this in like 30 minutes is pretty long. But I, I rewrote it in C. I don't know the timing there because uh, I, I recorded this before the commentary. So, um, so I don't know that exactly. Uh, 83rd seems like it is the the rating that um, yeah so it seems like that's my final ranking maybe uh, with the Chinese server merged in uh, could be wrong but still uh, what would I have been without the five minute penalty uh, wow actually that that's a big five minutes because uh, I would have been 51st and that doesn't and that doesn't include the time I spent writing it. So I probably would have been top 50 even uh, if I just, if I had just, um, if the Python solution worked, which is kind of sad, but eh, okay, it is what it is. But, uh, but yeah, overall a fun contest. I, uh, hard to say how, what I could have done better. I mean, the first three I did pretty well. Like I on Q3, you could say that I, um, so this is, so I'm just doing a little bit of a post-mortem or retro on how I could have done better. Uh, I think I did, I paced okay. I mean, like, look, I look around and okay, this guy is amazing. But like, when I look at the first page and I did the first three problems better than 
uh, pretty much everybody other than like two or three, pe two or three people. Uh, then you know, I feel like I did okay there. I that said, I probably could have done Q three even faster. I just didn't. Uh, I just wasn't sure that the naive algorithm would work fast enough. Um, so I was kind of second guessing a little bit. Uh, and Q four, I really should have done it even in twenty minutes. If I done it in twenty, yeah, even if I done it in twenty minutes, I would have been top fifteen or something like that, right? So it's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, that it took me so long, and that I have to add in five minutes and change language, right? So, uh, so yeah, so that's all I have um, for this problem. Uh, this problem set. Uh, hope you had a good time re watching. Hope you had a good contest. Uh, how did you do? Leave a like, leave a subscribe, leave a comment. Would would love to hear how you did. And was the geometry problem fair for you? Let me know. I'll see you later. Bye bye.